our challenge question is, how has technology made it easier to navigate the world through time? This week, we are learning about the year 1800s. Last week, you learned about year 1700 all the way to 1800. Now, you're gonna learn the year 1800 all the way to 1900s. I'm excited to hear how you're able to compare the years through time. The vocabulary for this week, Venn diagram, Compare, contrast, electric, invent, fashion, census, railroad, Train, steamboat, schoolhouse, steam. In the year 1898, Miller Reese Hutchinson created the first electric hearing aid. This is when hearing aid trumpets changed into electronic hearing aids. How did the people communicate in the 1800s? The 1800s was an important time for communication back then. The communication went from letters and newspapers to the telegraphs, and telephones. The telegraph was invented and used in the year 1832 by using Morse code. Morse code is sending sounds that represent letters. So A represented a sound, B represented a sound. That's how they communicated. Telephones were finally invented in year 18. 76 by Alexander Graham Bell. You might have heard of him. If you didn't know, Alexander Graham Bell, mother was deaf. His father worked at a school for the deaf in Boston. Alexander Graham Bell's goal was to make sound visual so the deaf can also use telephones to communicate. Check out what the people wore in 1800s. Think in your mind if you feel there was a difference from the 1700s to the 1800s. Did we have more computers? In the 1800s? In 1822, the previously discussed Babbage engine computer was used to compute tables and numbers. Did you know the abacus was really considered the first computer over 4,000 years ago? It was a device that helped people do math. In the year 1890, they wanted to find a more efficient way to count the U.S. Census. Do you know what the U.S. Census means and what they are doing? It's an official count of how many people are in the United States. In the year 1890, they used the Holeris machine to count the census. It's a machine that counted holes in paper to determine a number. The machine helped the counting of the census go a lot quicker. This is the method that was used until the mid-1900s. Travel. Travel.
travel in the 1800s still took a long time. Look at this picture that shows how the different times it took to travel to New York in the 1800s. Now, in 2022, it only takes about two hours. Compared to this picture, it took a few weeks. It did not last long because in the year 1826, the first railroad was built. This significantly brought down the travel time. By 1840, 3,000 miles of railroads were built. By 1857, more railroads were built that only took people a couple of hours to travel to New York. Traveling by land grew greatly, but so did traveling by water. By 1840, more than 3,000 miles of canals had been dug up in the United States. Steamboats were used in the canals and the rivers across America. Using railways and the steamboats helped transport goods and food. What was education or schooling looking like in the 1800s? In the 1800s, there was no elementary, middle, or high schools yet. There was one house that held all of education. It was called the schoolhouse. It was one room for only schooling. All the children, no matter the age, went to the school together in this one room. The rich would hire a teacher to come to their home instead of going to the schoolhouse because there were so many students there. Education was very important in the 1800s, but there were still not enough schools yet. They wrote using rocks on wood painted black. This is where chalk idea is from. Did you know what was done to the students who behaved bad in the schools in the 1800s? They made students wear weird shaped hats made from paper called dunce cap. Dunce means idiot. It was very embarrassing for students. It was later outlawed and it's not used today. Another punishment from back then in the 1800s was being smacked by rulers or sticks. Do you think some of the punishments from back then should be brought to schools today? In the year 1800, the battery was invented. In year 1809, the first electric lamp was invented. He used the recently invented batteries with wires. In the year 1814, the first photo was taken. It took eight hours. In the year 1854, the first mechanical ice machine was made. In the year 1828, the typewriter was invented. The 1800s had many, many, many inventions that changed the United States forever. I can't wait to see what your homes look like for the 1800s and how they compare to the 1700 homes. Bye-bye.